Research shows that time pressure and anxiety accompanying linear time, the habitual Western perspective of seeing time flowing linearly, is one of the greatest sources of stress for most people. Dr. Larry Dossey wrote, Many illnesses, perhaps most, may be caused either wholly or in part by our misperception of time. I am convinced that we can destroy ourselves through the creation of illness by perceiving time in a linear one-way flow. What is the source of time pressure? Again, most conventional time management seminars don't even seriously ask this question. But if we know the source, we can probably handle it better. Here are some common candidates for the factors involved my boss, a deadline itself, a plate that is too full or a lack of clock time, technology, likes and dislikes, attitudes, disorganization and confusion about what to do, unclear priorities, lack of an effective scheduling system. Here are two uncommon candidates chemical imbalance, imbalance in one's energy flow. My research indicates that the last six of these factors do affect time pressures. And the most important of these factors is the last one, an imbalance in one's energy flow. This imbalance seems to be primarily an aggregate result of past emotional residues. Rather than measuring or mirroring some external time flow, our feeling of time passing is typically the result of repressed energy completely independent of external physical events and speeds. In other words, our feeling of speed and time pressure is typically a product of past undigested experiences and not a measure of current external forces or events. So full schedules and modern speedy technology are not the problem. The gradual process of developing and strengthening the sense of time passing can be expressed in terms of three primary human energy centers. Some feeling rises to awareness, but rather than feel the feeling and allow it to dissipate and dissolve, we turn away from it. The feeling is repressed or suppressed and we lose a measure of confidence as well as a bit of the natural fulfillment that accompanies being fully involved in our energies. The energy of the heart is lessened and we feel somewhat pressured. Excess energy flows to the head and a sense of detached self-consciousness intensifies as our thinking skips about the separate past, present, and future rooms in our experience. Energy in the area of the throat, which is closely associated with time, becomes agitated as we become anxious and more aware of time passing. We feel a bit more helpless. Time becomes more threatening, a greater enemy. Thereafter, there is a more dissatisfied sense of self trying to seek satisfaction through various objects and activities.